Hey, everybody, it's Thursday. Normally it would have been Ascension Thursday, but now it's simply a Thursday during Easter. And we're reading from the Acts of the Apostles, and we're talking about Silas and Paul. And this is about Paul. Here we go. And anyway, jump ahead. Ah, there you go. Ready? When Silas simply came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with the preaching of preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him, reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. For now on I will go to the Gentiles. So he left them, went to a house belonging to a man named Titus, Justice, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household. And many of the Corinthians who heard and believed were baptized. Boy, that Crispus took a lot of humility. He's a, he's a synagogue official. And like, well, what are you doing, buddy? This is your job. You know, nice job probably in that time and, you know, place. You're secure. You realize, but you become a Christian, you are out. You're out of that job. You'd be ostracized. He did. That takes courage. Not only that, um, he and along with his entire household. Just at a point on that, uh, point of fact here, some Christian groups do not baptize babies, we Catholics, and other Christian groups do as well. And this when we say his entire household, one can assume that it would include his wife, perhaps he may have had servants, who knows, but even his children, even young children, the whole household. It's what the early church did, bring them up. It's like we like, you know, have babies, you want to plan for their college, you already start their college funding, perhaps, whatever, saving money for them. And so it is, we want to give the, our children the best. And the best, we want to open to the spirit that they, may, they too may come to know Christ. Here in the beginning, of course, in fullness, as they age and mature. God bless you.